Hello co-spoilers. Welcome back to another thrilling episode as we dive into the captivating world of movies. Together, we'll uncover new cinematic gems and indulge in the guilty pleasure of wasting our time on things that truly don't matter. Another story to uncover, Jamie Foxx on the move to make another series of movie to make action films and thriller goes again. This sums the fact that he is one of the best actor of all time and seeing him every year almost give me a smile so here we go. After seeing hundreds of movies a year, it's simple to disregard that some of the time the surest and now and then best delight comes from straightforward consolation nourishment. Executive Maggie Betts, The Burial, a return 90s motivational court dramatization pitched to extraordinary comedy, comes as straightforward and sweet as a summer southern breeze when garish individual harm attorney Willie E. Gary, Jamie Foxx, arrives in Mississippi to protect the mild-mannered Jeremiah O'Keefe, Tommy Lee Jones, against a multi-billion dollar organization. The burial has a few wonky components, like lean characters, and strangely surrounded competition, and an anticlimactic finishing. And however, Bet's crowd-pleasing story of improbable accomplices turned companions is irrefutably engaging. It drastically starts a couple of months earlier, when a broke Jeremiah, and proprietor of a few memorial service homes and a burial protections business, ventures with his longtime attorney Mike Allred, Alan Ruck, to Vancouver, BC, to offer three memorial service homes to CEO Bean Lowen, Charge Camp. A bargain was struck on Lowen's yacht, but four months have passed, and Lowen hasn't marked the contract. As it were the youthful hell, Mamudu Athi, a recently stamped lawyer and family companion, is suspicious, he considers Lowen is holding about Jeremiah, hoping the unsocial American's commerce crashes, clearing out the whole memorial service domestic chain viable for pennies on the dollar. Hal persuades Jeremiah not as it were to sue, but to do so within the overwhelmingly dark Heinz province. Here enters Willie E. Gary. Most mixed race, we must overcome movies like Green Book, The Help, and The Dazzle Side, flounder by attempting to settle the long span of racial disparities inside the space of a commonplace feel-good story, in which as it were the white character genuinely feels recovered and rewarded by credit's conclusion. But, The Burial, doesn't accept it can fathom microaggressions, imbalance, and prejudice in its 126-minute runtime. It's too not joined to mending Jeremiah of a few blameworthy inner voice. Or maybe, Fox as Willie is the actual lead in one of his best, most dynamic, and clever exhibitions in later memory, in spite of the fact that, they clone Tyrone, could be a 2023 highlight for him, as well. In truth, Willie, who truly needs to be taken genuinely, and make great cash, is the as it were completely outlined character. Jeremiah is for the most part utilitarian, separated from his commerce and huge family, he has 13 children, and his spouse, Pamela Reed, we don't learn much around him past his saved identity, a calm Verve Jones can play in his rest and continuously exceptionally well. We don't indeed see his kids. The same can be said approximately Willie's spouse, Gloria, Amanda Warren, and Jeremiah's legal counselors, Hal and Mike. A comparative perception takes after Mame Downs, Journey Smollett, a recognized lawyer Lowen enlists when he realizes he needs dark lawyers to win in a dark district, we never truly return to the sketchiness of how coming to out to Willie, unbeknownst him, beneath the pretense of the same strategy. Mame and Willie ended up inviting rivals, there's ungainly, charged exchange between them that peruses on the borderline of skeevy, leading to sharp strategies within the court and sharp actorly choices by Smollett as her character navigates speaking to a vomited white man. The burial isn't truly around race, but race is certainly all around it, and it takes put within the shadow of the O.J. Simpson trial, Willie regularly dreams of confronting Johnny Cochran. The awful racial history of the South is unmistakably included, a measured mamudu as hell faces microaggressions, whereas the National Baptist tradition gets to be the key to the case and includes more heart, disappointment, and hurt to the film. The Burial, too relishes in socially particular dark humor. Willie is an inalienably entertaining character, vainglorious, in over his head, and self-effacing. 
Fox plays all those components brilliantly without lessening Willie to buffoonish levels. He moreover takes delight in Willie's cadenced, musically implying discourse, the confrontation between Fox and Camp at the film's climax could be a colossal occasion of the actor's play with layered meaning. Doug Wright and Betts' comedically adjusted screenplay and outfit creator Mirren Gordon Crozier's wealthy ensembles combine to create advanced locate chokes, from Willie and his wife appearing on Lifestyles of the Wealthy and Famous, in velvet leisurewear to the lines of Willie's excessive suits. Thrumming through this prototypical David vs. Goliath film is Fox's heart and soul. Indeed when the court scenes drop into excessively recognizable visual designs, Fox includes pressure, pointlessness, and a sense of rigor, raising the burial from its common bones to a blending, unmistakable comedy with tall rewatch esteem. Thanks for watching our video. As we wrap things up, we want to say a big thank you for being a part of our awesome community. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our future adventures. We appreciate all the likes, comments, and support you've given us. It's because of viewers like you that we're able to keep creating great content. So stay tuned for more exciting videos coming your way. Remember, you're the reason we do what we do. Without you, our channel wouldn't be the same. So, until next time, take care, stay awesome. And keep spreading the positivity. See you soon.